<laughs> now, we did mention earlier in the program that Port Adelaide just keep on keeping on. They are top two cemented in there, thanks to a very, top very one. ordinary... Sorry? Oh, well, they're top of the ladder. Yeah, I'm just saying, but they've cemented themselves as top two at the yeah. very least. Yeah. And all is... came at the expense of a very, very disappointing Essendon outfit. That's right, TJ. And that's how they did it. Uh, Charlie Dixon was terrific. Two goals, three. Missed those easy ones earlier on. But let's take a look at the game highlights because Essendon started OK and it was their midfield. Parrish kicked that goal off Boak at the forward stoppage. Thought Shield started well. Plenty of it, as did Merritt. But in the second quarter, they just completely drifted out of the game and Port Adelaide's midfield were able to respond. And I thought the second quarter, as we spoke about, there's Laddens back in the side after that three-game coronavirus suspension. So they're happy to get him back in. But... Dominant second quarter display, five goals to zero, and the Bombers basically went missing and all that midfield dominates evaporated. So Port Adelaide are in a good position. I really like the game style that they play. I think it'll stand up in finals. If I had one concern, Lordo, it would probably be around uh, Port Adelaide's bottom five players. So if you look at the likes of Motlop and Bono, Ebert's going to be in a race to, to keep that spot when Zach Butters comes back in. So maybe their depth isn't as strong as Geelong and Richmond, but I mean, they're in a great position to host that first final, probably against Geelong um, or Richmond, and, and that'll be a great challenge for them. Travis Boak, 26 again, wasn't at his absolute best, but still having an amazing season. Joe Danaher, you wanted to take a look at, Lord. Yeah. I've not been there live. He moved really well, yeah. um, but he just didn't get enough opportunities on his feet. Yeah, I think it's more about what's he worth. So that, that's going to be the big question mark. And I think someone will throw a lot of money at him and three years. I don't think Essendon would be willing to give him three years, but I think someone will. And I always said that it's not going to be about how well he plays. It's just can he get through. And I think someone will look at him and go, yeah, we, we can see someone who's kicked, been a best and fairest winner, been all Australian, kicked 50 or 60 goals. So, so what will you get for him then? Uh, well, if, if I think um, no one gives away the actual herbs and spices of it, Bill, but if someone offers him 600 grand a year, yeah. Essendon will get a first round draft pick in well, compensation. You happy and, with that? And I think the Bombers will take it. Yep. But if not, um, they so will match the offer and force the club to go into a trade for him. Yep, so right. who would go after him? Who needs a full forward like Joe Danaher right now? I think that I think even Sydney? some top end teams. So I think the Brisbane Lions would Brisbane love Lions. to have him, yeah. and I think even Geelong with the Tomahawk coming yep. towards the end and the ruck forward of Joe Danaher would. What be about Sydney? Collingwood? Uh, Collingwood, oh, they're another one, perfect. But then they'd have to move a good player out. And I just want to come back to you on Jake Stringer, uh, Cornsy. There's a lot of uh, people speaking about. His physical condition yesterday, what do you make of that? Yeah, I'll get smashed for this and the PC brigade will come after me. But if you're a full-time professional athlete, you don't present yourself like that. And to steal Ken Hinckley's line, you get what you deserve in footy. And that's why he returns five disposals yesterday, because he's not fit enough. And when you don't perform and you present like that out of shape, you run the risk of being criticised by it. So he needs to look at what Petrak has done, what Max Gorn has done in the past, the way that Travis Boak manages his body, if he wants to get the most out of that talent, because that display there of physical fit fitness is not good enough and let's have a look at the votes before the Twitter phone runs off the hook with people complaining about fat shaming and all sorts of things Bill but you're a full-time athlete get fit